Bismillah Rahman Rahim, uh, starting with the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Uh, dear students, today our lecture is about the types of degradations. That how the drug products, they are degraded by different process. So these process, uh, it can be explained by the following ways so the first one is uh, chemical degradation the second one is physical degradation and the third one is biological degradation so let's talk about the chemical degradation what is chemical degradation so chemical degradation it is the process by which the drug product they are degrade by some chemical changes and these chemical changes they are take place or there are certain chemical reaction which are take place so as a result of the drug it become degrade or it become its its uh, its shape its structure its morphology its physical chemical characteristics they are completely changed so the first process that is hydrolysis what is hydrolysis so hydro mean water and lysis mean splitting so hydrolysis means splitting by water so hydrolysis is one of the chemical process and with the uh, drug products they are broken down in the presence of water so in the presence of water the drug product it may be degrades or it may be uh, split or it it can broken down so hydrolysis is uh, one of the chemical uh, degradation or the classical example of chemical degradation that is hydrolysis uh, you can see uh, in the table that some functional groups that subject to the hydrolysis so the first one is ester group so ester these are the drug type lectones amides amides and malonics ureas so esters actually aspirin belong to esters alkalides dexamethasone sodium and phosphate nitroglycerin so actually these are the examples of esters uh, similarly in the case of lectones pelocarpine and spironolactone so pilocarpine and spironolactone it also belong to the lectones so you know better about the uh, spironolactone actually these are potassium sparing diuretics they are also used in the treatment of hypertension amides chlorampenicol it also belong to amides which come under the category of sulfonamides which have which, which have a strong bacteriostatic activities Glotithimides, it belong to amides and barbiturates, it belong to melonyx urea. In chemical uh, degradation, we will just talk about the chemical stability. And chemical stability or in chemical degradation, another process that is oxidation. So you know that oxidation is uh, a chemical process in which there is loss of the molecules or the loss of the loss of uh, a molecules of hydrogen from a compounds. So oxidation can be defined as the addition of oxygen or the uh, removal of electron from an atom or gain up in oxidation state or the removal of hydrogen atoms from a molecule or from a compounds so oxidation of the inorganic and organic compounds which is explained by the loss of electrons and loss of a molecule of hydrogen the third one is photolysis so it means that that oxidation it can also degrade the products it can also change the state of any drug products photolysis it is another chemical process or you can say for in chemical stability photolysis so in the presence of sunlight 
the drug products they can degrade or they can broken down in the presence of sunlight so proto mean light and lysis mean splitting so the breakdown of or the splitting of any drug products in the presence of sunlight so that is called photolysis so inshallah in my next lecture i will try my best to teach you the drug stability or the drug degradations so in today lecture we have just simply uh, discuss about the chemical degradation that there are different process so one is oxidation uh, one is photolysis and uh, another one is uh, hydrolysis so there are three processes these are actually the chemical how the chemical degradation can take place so inshallah uh, in my next lecture we will explain or we will discuss about the physical stability or physical instability and what are the different contributing factors which can lead a product to our physical instability so for physical stability what are the different factors which are required uh, thank you so much for watching my lecture